Okay. Again, grade two. It's a good day today. I hope you are having a nice day. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. In today's lesson, we will learn about science. And the topic is flower reproduction or how flowers are made. We know that plants or flowers begin with a seed that we plant in the ground and then it will grow up into a plant or tree with flowers. But do you know that plants can also make babies, but not babies like us. It can make another baby of itself. Okay, plants will make another plant. Plant will make another baby plant. Okay, just like a flower will make another baby flower. But how do we do it? Or how do they do it? Well, I will help you learn. Let's go to our book on page 68. Please get your science book. Do you have your science book? And open on page 68. Now, we have here a reproduction of a flowering plant. We know that Plants begin with a seed and that it will grow into a seedling or a sapling and grow into a new tree will, that has flowers and that flower can make another flower using its pollens. This one. These are pollen grains that will go inside the body of the flower that will make what? Another flower. These pollen grains move down to the style, to the ovary of the plant. And the pollen grains will then join with an egg cell. And that egg cell inside the tummy of the flower will fertilize it to make it into a new plant. Yes. So when the pollen grains fertilize the egg cells, the stigma and style will dry up. And the, and the parts of the flower that we learned before, the sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils, will also dry and fall down. And it will become a fruit. And that fruit will have a seed inside, just like the mango, remember? When the flower becomes a mango, it becomes a fruit. And we eat the mango. And inside the mango, there is a seed. And that seed, we plant again. And we'll make another plant. But if you still, if you are still confused, let us watch this short video that teacher borrowed from the internet. Let us watch this cartoon and learn how flowers are made. Okay, let us watch. Please open your book on this page. Okay, are you on this page? Now, let us answer. When a flower is fertilized, it grows into a fruit with what? What does it have inside? It will grow a seed. And when we plant the seed in the right surrounding, they will sprout what? What will grow? Can you guess? Yes, it will grow a seedling and then become a sapling. Remember from our previous lesson, 
the seed will grow it will have a leaf a baby leaf and the baby leaf will grow bigger and it will become a new young plant or a baby plant from seedling to sapling and then when a seedling grows its roots will take in water and then a stalk with leaves will grow this is the stalk this long part and then the leaves it will grow bigger and bigger and bigger and its leaf will make food for itself remember the photosynthesis that I taught you last time, the sunlight will give energy to the plant and the leaves of the plant will make food. And then after that, when the plant is old enough, it will grow flowers like this one, the violet flowers, that will help them to breed or reproduce, meaning it will make a new baby plant. Now, this is the example of a flowering plant. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something today. And I also hope you are able to answer this page. Now, teacher will say goodbye. And next week, teacher Michelle will teach you science, math, and health. So please be a good boy and a good girl to teacher Michelle. I will miss you, but I am still online. You can still message me anytime if you want to talk. So for now, thank you for having teacher Carlos to teach you science. But I have to give it to teacher Michelle. She will be your new teacher next week. Again, bye-bye.